Here's the deal, guys. I think many of us can be toxic from time to time, including myself. It's hard not to be in this day and age. So it's not that I have some sort of a crusade against toxicity that would make me a big fat hypocrite. My beef is with developers and people that are in the inner circle of these companies that make video games who think it's okay to dox people, who think it's okay to support people that do. They encourage it and they think he or she is doing God's work. Because as I told you a long time ago, a lot of these video game developers despise us. They hate our guts. Anytime you look online, it's usually just a handful of people that are acting like dickheads, right? The majority of gamers are acting civil, but they magnify the small percentage of people that are acting like dickheads, and then they blame them for their own toxic behavior. Oh, it's because of them that I'm doxing people. It's because of them that I'm acting like a lunatic. No, it's because of you. It's because you're such a narcissist, you can't handle the slightest criticism. There is an overwhelming amount of evidence that shows this lady, Steph, amongst other people, are clearly in the wrong profession. I'm not sure if they're burnt out. I'm not sure if they've always been like this. I don't know. I don't care. All I care about is that I don't want to see certain things happen more frequently in the future, including doxing people over video game opinions. It doesn't matter how extreme my point of view may be about a video game, it's a video game, okay? I'm not insulting a person. Sure, someone down the line made that game. However, there's a big difference between calling a video game a piece of shit and doxing somebody. And if you can't see the difference, then I think it's about time you take a vacation from the internet and get your head sorted out. Even though these people work for these companies, it's their personal Twitter, and it's in their right to block whoever they want. They aren't expected to sit there and take somebody's shit. In fact, people in the past have suggested to Steph to block these people. Instead, her response was that she belongs on the front lines, as if this is some sort of a war in her mind. That she's good at it. Good at what exactly? Stalking the flames? Yeah, you're an expert at that. I'll give you that much. Anyways, I'm not going to recycle this same information again. If you want to learn more about that, it's in one of my other videos. So let's talk about the Twitter doxer, Saints Takes. A buddy that's been helping me with this DM'd me this last night. So as you can see, it's not just me making insinuations. Twitter also classifies this as a doxing and has given this person a chance to take the original docs down or they're going to have certain features on their Twitter account locked. And I say original because they did it again. And not only did they do it again, they admitted it. They tried to justify it. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. I don't think anyone believes that this is just some random fan controlling this account. As I said earlier, there are developers out here who make a bad habit out of magnifying a very small, toxic, minority and then blaming and punishing the entire community for it one big blanket over everybody that would be like me not covering this topic anymore because somebody said i'm doing it for views let me let you in on a secret i only upload when somebody brings something to my attention or if someone asks me to make a video or if i see something and i feel like it's worth covering I'm not going to upload just to keep the fires lit. I'm not going to upload when nothing new is going on. There's nothing new to talk about. But back to what I was saying. Just like one of these developers, this Saints Takes Twitter account, their whole stick is pointing out the most extreme examples of opinion and then trying to make it look like the entire OG community feels the same exact way. And then of course they follow it up with a good harassing and doxing. And after all the stuff we have uncovered and shared together guys, this company has still remained dead silent. The only time they chimed in was when they were threatening legal action against a troll. Let that sit in. Not when there was a civil war breaking loose within the community. Not when you had motherfuckers out here doxing while inner circle members from their own team were encouraging that behavior. No. Dead silent. No attempt at de-escalating anything. But the second some troll is out here 
trying to tarnish their image, that's when they felt enough was enough. So when all is said and done, I think there's one other thing we have all learned, no matter what side of the fence you're on, this company does not give a fuck about its community.